Have you ever wondered what exactly lurks beneath the shimmering surface of the deep blue sea? We've all heard of the dangerous land animals, but beneath the waves hides an entirely different realm of tooth, fin, and venom. From sun-dappled shallows to the inky depths, an array of fascinating creatures with gnarly abilities roam the water. Are you ready for a fascinating underwater adventure in death? Join us as we have a look at 20 of the most dangerous fish in our world. Number 1. The Stonefish, the Underwater Assassin Allow me to introduce you to our first contestant, the Stonefish, cleverly named for its, well, stony look. It's sneaky, right? But don't let the lack of imagination in the naming department fool you. The Stonefish is an underwater ninja and a master of disguise. Just imagine that you're swimming in the tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific, minding your own business, when your foot brushes against a harmless-looking rock. Ouch! You've just met the world's most venomous fish! How's that for an introduction? The stonefish's venom is delivered via 13 sharp dorsal spines designed for self-defense. A run-in with this prickly fellow can cause heart failure, paralysis, and if not treated promptly, even death. You know what they say, never judge a fish by its stoniness. But what's really fascinating is how the stonefish hunts. Forget about chasing after its food, that's way too much work. Instead, it's going to bury itself in the sand, leaving only its eyes and mouth visible. And then when an unsuspecting small fish or crustacean meanders by, that's when dinner is served. You may be thinking, fish sticks, how fast can this lethargic looking lump of a fish be? Well, my aquatic adventurers, the stonefish's lightning quick ambush is over in just 0.015 seconds. If you blink, you're gonna miss it. Our scaly friend, the stonefish, is a marvel of survival, a testament to nature's ingenious ways of adapting to life's many challenges. It may not win any beauty contests or even charm anyone with acrobatics, but when it comes to the perilous game of survival in the underwater world, the stonefish is a true champion. Its peculiar camouflage, coupled with its deadly venom, makes this fish a formidable force in the aquatic underworld. And so the next time that you spot a rock underwater, maybe give it a second look. You know, just to be sure. Number 2. The Lionfish – Beauty with a Bite Next up, coming from the glimmering depths of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, is the Lionfish. Isn't that a majestic name? It conjures images of a fierce feline with a glamorous mane, doesn't it? Well, in a way, our finned friend does have a kind of mane, a spectacular fan of venomous spines. See, the lionfish is not just another pretty face in the coral reef crowd. Sure, its flamboyant zebra-striped attire and long flowing fins might make you think that it's all about putting on a good show, but there is a kicker. Those seemingly decorative fins, well, they're loaded up with venom, and it's not exactly the nice kind. Is there a nice kind? Number 3. The Great White Shark – Nature's Killing Machine Now, what would a video of dangerous fish be without the Great White Shark? Half of you probably saw this one coming, and the other half might well be chanting, Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. You know, our Finding Nemo fans out there. But let me tell you, the Great White is no animated character. It's the ocean's most feared predator, a true living nightmare with rows of razor-sharp teeth. And let's get one thing clear. Sharks are not exactly monsters, they're just incredibly efficient hunters. For example, when a great white zeroes in on a seal, their favorite snack, it doesn't just swim over casually, oh no, it rockets up from the depths with such force that it will often breach the surface, sending its prey skyward in a dramatic display of raw power. Did you just get goosebumps? Because I know I did. Now, I'm not saying that every time you dip a toe in the ocean, a great white is going to pop up. Shark attacks are actually rare, and fatal ones even more so. However, there's no denying that the great white's combination of size, power, and predatory prowess has earned it a well-deserved spot on this video. The next time that you're surfing and you feel a chill run down your spine, it's probably just the cold water. Probably. After all, you know what they say, once you're in the ocean, you're in the food chain and great whites are right at the top. Number 4. The Tiger Shark – The Sea's Garbage Can Let's leave the chilling waters of the great white and head toward the warmer tropics, where we will meet a shark with a reputation for eating just about anything. This is the Tiger Shark. Our friends in science land have given it the fancy Latin name that I cannot pronounce if I tried, 
so I will simply stick with Tiger Shark. It's much more simple and much more cool. Here's the thing about the tiger shark though, it is not a picky eater. From fish to birds, dolphins to dugongs, and other sharks to inanimate objects, the tiger shark will gobble them all up, earning it the nickname of the sea's garbage can. License plates, rubber tires, even suits of armor, the tiger shark's stomach is like the ultimate underwater lost and found. But don't let this strange diet fool you, it's not only an ocean cleanup crew, with a size that can stretch to about 25 feet and a mouthful of serrated razor-sharp teeth, the tiger shark is one formidable predator. Oh, and did I forget to mention its exceptional night vision and its ability to sense the electric fields of other animals? Oh yeah, it has those talents as well. The tiger shark is a creature of surprising contrasts, one that is as comfortable with munching on a jellyfish as it is a car bumper. A fearless predator of the seas, yet one that also has a strange fondness for junk food. Let it be a reminder, just because you enjoy eating trash doesn't mean that you can't be a top-tier predator. Number 5. The Box Jellyfish – The Deadly Drifter Now it's time to change gears and get away from the world of jaws and fins, where we will instead drift into the fascinating yet fearsome realm of jellyfish. But not just any kind of jellyfish, the box jellyfish. Is it actually a fish? Well, no. Is it made out of jelly? No. Is it even shaped like a box? Not really. However, don't be fooled by its seemingly innocuous, almost ghostly appearance. This ethereal drifter is one of the most venomous creatures on the planet. With tentacles of up to 10 feet long that are adorned with millions of tiny specialized cells, the box jellyfish is not to be messed with. Each of these cells is like a miniature harpoon, loaded up with potent venom, enough to stun or even kill a small fish and invertebrates. And for humans, a brush with a box jellyfish can be excruciatingly painful, and in some cases even fatal. That's right, a creature that's 95% water and looks like a floating plastic bag can actually kill you. Don't you just love the ocean's sense of humor? Anyways, if you do see this deadly drifter while swimming in the Pacific or the Indian Oceans, do give it plenty of space. Think of it as a beautiful but forbidden piece of underwater art. Just look and don't touch, because nothing ruins your day at the beach quite like a hug from a box jellyfish. Number 6. Moray Eel – The Hidden Danger From our last ethereal but deadly creature, we now slither into the mysterious world of the moray eel. Moray eels are a little bit like the introverts of the sea, preferring to stay tucked away in crevices and nooks of the coral reefs, popping their heads out occasionally when something interesting or tasty swims by. But don't let their shyness fool you. You see, the moray eel possesses not only one, but actually two sets of jaws. You can think of the terrifying alien from, well, the Alien movie, and you won't be very far off. The outer jaws will grasp its prey, and then the inner jaws, will lunge forward from the throat to pull the unfortunate creature down the gullet. Such a fun time. That's not all though, the moray eel boasts an impressive set of sharp and backwards facing teeth that are perfect for gripping prey. Once these eels latch on, they rarely let go, and with a potential size of up to 13 feet, depending on the species, that's a whole lot of eel to contend with. And so, the next time that you're poking around a coral reef, just remember, there's more than just beautiful fish and colorful corals lurking in the crevices. Sometimes, there's a double-jawed, toothy surprise waiting for you. Consider yourself warned. Number 7. The Barracuda – The Underwater Rocket Picture this. You're snorkeling in some clear tropical waters, marveling at the kaleidoscope of colors below, when out of the blue, a silver flash darts past you. Before you can even register what's happened, it's gone. And ladies and gentlemen, you may have just had a barracuda encounter. Barracudas are the drag racers of the ocean world. These sleek and streamlined fish can reach impressive speeds that are perfect for ambushing their prey. Their long torpedo-shaped bodies are built for speed, while their strong jaws, packed with sharp dagger-like teeth, can slice through their prey like a hot knife through butter. In all seriousness, barracudas are impressive creatures. They're a perfect combination of power, speed, and ferocity, and they remind us all that the ocean is a realm of relentless survival, a stage where the quick and the strong will rule. And so the next time that you see a silver flash in the ocean, give a nod of respect to the barracuda, the underwater rocket of the marine world. 
Number 8. The Electric Eel, The Living Dynamo Have you ever been zapped by static electricity? It can be really annoying and quite the shocker. Now imagine being zapped by 600 volts. That's what you would get if you happen to mess with an electric eel. Surprise, surprise, this creature is not only technically an eel, but a type of knife fish. Let's stick with the common name since electric knife fish doesn't quite have the same zing to it though. What makes this fish fascinating, and a little bit terrifying, is its ability to generate electric shock. Electric eels will possess specialized cells, called electrocytes, which when triggered, will unleash an electric charge. These jolts are not just for show though, they're actually used for navigation, hunting, and self-defense. Imagine having a built-in GPS, a stun gun, and a personal shield all in one. That is an electric eel for you. The shock from an electric eel will not necessarily kill you, but it can knock you unconscious, and that's a big problem if you're swimming. And so, if you're ever in South American waters and your compass just begins going haywire, it might be a good idea to turn around and swim the other way. You know, just in case. Number 9. The Pufferfish – Inflate, Deflate, Detonate Now we'll meet one of the most unusual and also deadly members of the fish kingdom, the pufferfish. These eccentric little critters look rather harmless, almost comical, as they bloat their bodies to balloon-like proportions when they feel threatened. But behind all of this seemingly goofy defense mechanism lies a very potent weapon, tetrodotoxin. Now what's so scary about a little bit of poison? Well, that tetrodotoxin is no ordinary poison, my friends. It's over a thousand times more toxic than cyanide, and just a small dose can lead to paralysis and death. Talk about packing a punch! So whether it's inflating like a balloon or harboring a deadly poison, the pufferfish sure knows how to make an impression. It's a stark reminder that in nature even the most harmless looking creatures can pack a deadly surprise. This fish is definitely more than just a pretty puff. Number 10. The Bull Shark – The River Monster Remember when I said the ocean was full of surprises? Well, this next dangerous fish is a prime example. Picture a shark. What comes to mind? Perhaps a great white? Deep oceans? That one scene from Jaws? Well, say hello to the bull shark, a fearsome predator that is as comfortable in a freshwater river as it is in the salty sea. That's right, bull sharks can, and certainly do, venture far upstream in rivers. They've been spotted in the Mississippi, far from the ocean's salty embrace. Imagine taking a leisurely swim out in your local river only to find yourself sharing those waters with a creature straight out of Jaws. It's this combination of adaptability, power, and unpredictability that makes the bull shark a formidable creature and also earns it a place in this video. Whether you're swimming in the ocean or a river, just remember, you should always respect the water and its potential inhabitants, especially if those inhabitants have a mouthful of sharp teeth. Number 11. The Piranha Nature's Can Opener From the shark-infested waters of the rivers, we now move on to the fish-filled rivers of South America. And what fish is more infamous than the piranha? With their razor-sharp teeth and a reputation for ferocity, piranhas are the stuff of legend. But are they really the bloodthirsty monsters that movies make them out to be? Not quite. Piranhas do have incredibly sharp teeth, so sharp in fact that indigenous people have used the piranha's jaws to make tools. And yes, they can strip a carcass to the bone within minutes. But this usually only happens when food is scarce or they're in a feeding frenzy. Piranhas are more like scavengers than they are active predators. They are like the hyenas of the water world, helping to keep rivers clean by eating up the leftovers. However, one bite from one of these can be pretty painful, and it's still best to leave them alone. So, while they may not live up to the Hollywood hype, piranhas still deserve a respectful and cautious nod of recognition. After all, anything that can serve as both a fish and a can opener is well worth giving a wide berth to. Number 12. The Stingray – The Hidden Hunter The ocean floor is not only sand and shells. Sometimes it can also be a hideout for one of the sea's most unassuming yet dangerous dwellers, the stingray. When you first look at a stingray with its flattened body and wing-like fins, dangerous might not exactly be the word that comes to mind. But you have to remember the golden rule. In the ocean, looks can be deceiving. The stingray's main weapon is a venomous barb that's located near the base of its tail. 
It isn't a proactive hunter like our shark friends. Instead, the stingray prefers to hang out, buried in the sand, just waiting for a tasty morsel to happen by. And when threatened, it can whip its tail upwards, driving that barb into the unlucky creature. And trust me, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that sting. Fatalities from the stingray encounters are quite rare, but they can also cause painful injury. Our friend Steve Irwin the crocodile hunter would tragically lose his life to a stingray barb. So when you're in the ocean, just remember to do the stingray shuffle. Slide your feet along the sand to alert any hidden rays of your presence. It's just the polite thing to do after all. Number 13. The Giant Squid, the Kraken of the Sea. Now we leave the sandy ocean floor to plunge into the deep, dark depths of the ocean, where the sunlight is a stranger and creatures are the stuff of legends. Welcome to the realm of the giant squid, affectionately known as the Kraken. Giant squid are elusive creatures, seldomly seen by human eyes, and that's probably a good thing. You see, these underwater titans can actually reach lengths of up to 43 feet for the females and 33 feet for the male, and if you think about that, that's longer than a school bus. With eyes as big as dinner plates, the largest in the animal kingdom, the giant squid is built to thrive in the extreme conditions of the deep blue sea. And let's not forget about their tentacles, each one lined with hundreds of powerful suckers that are rimmed with sharp and tiny teeth. These appendages are perfect for capturing prey and also battling underwater foes. While they're not a direct threat to any human, we're not part of their diet, thank goodness, there's still no denying the sheer power and mystery that surrounds the giant squid. This creature is a testament to the wonders and terrors that lurk in the deep. And so the next time that you're watching a sea monster movie, just remember, sometimes the truth can be much stranger than fiction, especially when you're out in the ocean's depths. Number 14. The Goblin Shark – Deep Sea Nightmare Fuel as if the deep sea wasn't spooky enough, I will now introduce you to the goblin shark. Don't let its quirky name fool you though. With a face that only a mother could love and a bite that makes jaws drop quite literally, the goblin shark is the stuff of underwater nightmares. This denizen of the deep is a rare and poorly understood species, preferring to hang out in the ocean's abyss, and wow does it look the part. A prominent elongated snout and a mouth that's full of nail-like teeth make the goblin shark look like it swam straight out of a horror film. While the goblin shark poses no actual threat to humans, that is, unless you routinely dive several hundred feet deep, it's a living testament to what's lurking deep beneath in the darkest corners of the ocean. And wow, look at that face. Sleep tight tonight. Number 15. The Sawfish, the Lumberjack of the Sea from the dark depths, we now move closer to the surface to meet the sawfish, a creature that blurs the lines between handyman's tool and living creature. With a long tooth studded snout that resembles a chainsaw, the sawfish is quite literally a cut above the rest. This elongated rostrum, or saw, is not only for show, it's also an effective hunting weapon. Sawfish will use it to detect, stun, and even injure their prey with swift side-to-side -side swipes, just imagine being hit with a toothy underwater chainsaw. That's a bad day at sea. While they do pose very little danger to humans, unless they're provoked, sawfish are not to be taken lightly. Their unique adaptations make them formidable predators in their own habitat. So hats off to it, the ocean's very own lumberjack. Or perhaps that should be fins off. Number 16. The Saltwater Crocodile, the Marine Behemoth. Now, if you thought that this list was only about fish, you should think again, because the saltwater crocodile might not be a fish, but it is an aquatic creature that you won't want to bump into during a midnight swim. It's no ordinary crocodile, after all. It's the largest living reptile on the planet, and it can reach lengths of up to 23 feet. That's right, it's longer than most vehicles. The salty, as it's affectionately known in Australia, is a patient predator capable of lying in wait for hours or even days for the perfect moment to strike. And when it does, oh boy, you don't want to be there. Equipped with an impressive set of jaws, the salty can deliver one of the most powerful bites in the animal kingdom. While attacks on humans are relatively rare, it's always best to heed local advice and signage within the areas where these marine behemoths live. Because remember people, 
Crocodiles have been around since the time of dinosaurs, and they've had plenty of time to perfect the art of hunting. And they're really, really good at it. Number 17. The Cone Snail. It might be slow, but it's also deadly. Now we'll scale it down a bit, from the gargantuan saltwater crocodile to the seemingly harmless cone snail. Small and adorned with beautifully patterned shells, these slow-moving gastropods seem far from dangerous, but remember the rule, appearances can be deceiving. Don't let their sluggish pace fool you, though. Cone snails are venomous hunters, each one carrying a hypodermic-like tooth that's full of potent cocktails of neurotoxins. This tooth can be shot out at a high speed to immobilize their prey in an instant, so we should give credit where credit is due. Cone snails might not win a sprint, but they've turned the art of slow and steady hunting into quite the deadly craft. Their venom is very complex and potent, and it's being studied for potential medicinal uses. It's just another reminder that within the ocean, danger often lurks in the most unexpected of places. Number 18. The Blue-Ringed Octopus – A Tiny Terror Sometimes the most dangerous creatures will come in the smallest of packages. Meet the Blue-Ringed Octopus, a diminutive cephalopod that carries enough venom to knock out 26 fully grown adults. That's right, 26 of them. Sporting a vibrant, psychedelic color pattern, these octopuses are a sight to behold. When threatened, brilliant blue rings will appear on their skin, as if a warning to predators, or the curious diver, to stay away. It's nature's way of saying, hey, look at me but don't touch. Despite their danger, the blue-ringed octopus is a fascinating creature. They're a stark reminder of the incredible diversity and the potential peril of marine life. So if you're lucky enough to spot one on your underwater adventure, appreciate the beauty, but do it from a safe distance. Number 19. The Vampire Squid – The Bloodless Fiend With a name like Vampire Squid, you may expect something out of a B-grade horror flick, but the reality is a lot more fascinating than it is frightening. Despite its eerie moniker, the Vampire Squid is not a bloodsucker. In fact, it doesn't even eat live prey. Residing in the oxygen minimal zone of the deep sea, this cephalopod has more in common with an octopus than it does its own squid relatives. And though it doesn't share the bloodthirsty tendencies of its namesake, the vampire squid has its own share of peculiarities. This deep sea dweller might not pose a direct threat to humans, but it is certainly a reminder of the unique survival strategies that nature employs in the most inhospitable environments. And so, here's to the vampire squid, the non-blood-sucking, inside-out turning marvel of the deep blue sea. Number 20. The Beaked Sea Snake now, when you think about creatures in the ocean that are deadly and could potentially kill you, you might not exactly be thinking about snakes. And yes, while a snake is not a fish, it still fits this list because it is a deadly underwater creature. They cohabitate with them, and I think it's just really cool. The beaked sea snake, also known as the hook sea snake, inhabits the coastal regions of India, Australia, Africa, and the Arabian Sea. And although they are generally non-aggressive, the snake is going to only strike if provoked. What sets it apart would be its venom, which is remarkably potent. In fact, the beak sea snake's bite contains venom that is eight times more toxic than that of a cobra. Merely one and a half milligrams of this venom can be lethal to a human, while a full dosage, well, it can kill approximately 22 individuals. The venom of this snake targets the muscles of the body, which can lead to excruciating pain. And if it's left untreated within 24 hours, you will die. Remarkably, this sea snake is an adept diver, capable of descending up to 100 meters underwater while remaining submerged for up to five hours hunting for fish. Unfortunately, though, the creature does frequently become entangled in fishermen's nets, which inadvertently results in human fatalities as individuals will come into contact with its venom. So yeah, you may not have expected to see a snake that could dive in the ocean, but it is still a danger to you, fishermen, and the fish of the deep blue sea. What did you think about this list of most dangerous fish in the world? Have you ever encountered any of them? And have you ever went to Japan and eaten a puffer fish? Let me know about it in the comments below. Leave a like on this video and subscribe for more in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.